Welcome to this AdWords online classroom tutorial on managing multiple accounts using the My Client Center and AdWords Editor. We first discuss what it is to manage multiple AdWords accounts, highlighting some of the challenges and benefits involved. We then explain our My Client Center product, which aims to make managing multiple accounts much easier. Special attention is given to My Client Center alerts in our third section. And finally, we will dive into AdWords Editor, a powerful tool you can use to make changes to AdWords campaigns, which is especially useful if you manage multiple accounts or if you have very large campaigns. Why is multiple account management important? Managing multiple individual clients means separate logins must be maintained, making it difficult to quickly access client accounts and run reports on all clients to assess the performance of a portfolio. A solution, which provides a broad overview of each managed account, their spend, and performance, would make multiple account management faster, more valuable, and allow agency managers to make critical business decisions on the health of their client portfolio. Multiple account management involves a person or entity managing more than one AdWords account. Those with a need to manage multiple accounts can do so from within an AdWords tool called My Client Center which is discussed in a later section. Next, we'll learn about exactly who might have a need to manage multiple accounts. Multiple account managers are usually individuals or entities who manage several AdWords accounts on behalf of clients for a fee. These third parties often have special expertise in the areas of online and or traditional advertising, search engine marketing, and search engine optimization. They may do everything from basic campaign creation, maintenance, and reporting to performance optimization, bid strategy, and website analytics. In addition, large advertisers who would like to keep advertising, reporting, and billing separate for different business units often create and manage multiple accounts. Multiple account management benefits the entire AdWords ecosystem, from individual advertisers to third parties to Google itself. Individual advertisers benefit by leveraging the expertise of experienced third-party account management firms. Larger advertisers can use multiple account management to organize their advertising efforts at scale. Third parties can benefit by deriving revenue from managing AdWords accounts on behalf of individual advertisers. Google benefits from having expert third parties that enable individual advertisers to be more successful with AdWords, contributing to the success of the AdWords program. And finally, users benefit from the high-quality connections they're able to make with advertisers who are employing the services of third parties. Let's now talk about how multiple account management is possible with the My Client Center. Creating an MCC couldn't be easier. Simply go to the MCC link shown here, click on Sign Up, and follow the steps from there. My Client Center, or MCC, is a special type of AdWords account that allows access to and management of multiple individual AdWords accounts from one place. With the MCC, you can easily access performance statistics and reports from multiple accounts on the MCC dashboard. You can go into specific accounts and make changes without needing to log into them directly. With a feature called Manager Defined Spend, you can receive a single invoice for multiple accounts every month. And finally, MCC alerts will automatically notify you of specific account events such as billing issues and ad disapprovals. The My Client Center dashboard provides a view of all linked client accounts as shown here. To navigate to a particular client, use the drop-down menu at the top of the dashboard to jump to client. To link one of your managed accounts to the MCC, simply click on the Link Existing Account link as shown here. You can also change the time range for the account summary by applying constraints as shown here. To link existing accounts, you must have administrative access to these accounts before they will appear in your MCC. Once you submit the customer ID of the account you want to link to in your MCC, the owner will be notified of your request via email and will need to accept. You'll be notified upon their acceptance and the account will be linked to your MCC.
it will appear in your MCC dashboard and you'll be able to go into it to make changes. Note that you can also link other MCC accounts to your MCC, creating top-level and sub-level MCC accounts. When you're no longer managing an account, you'll need to unlink it from your MCC. Unlinking an account requires navigating to the Access page on the My Account tab within the account you'd like to unlink. In the Client Manager section of this page, simply click Terminate Access next to the email you use to log into your MCC. Now, let's take a look at MCC Alerts. MCC Alerts notify you of important events such as payment, creative, or budget issues that may affect the accounts you manage. You can access alerts by clicking on the Alerts link under your My Client Center tab or by clicking on the Alert Summary box on your MCC dashboard. By default, you'll see all new alerts across all accounts linked to your MCC, but in a few short steps, you can search for specific types of alerts and save those searches for later use, which we'll discuss next. In order to take action on an alert, just click on it and you'll be taken to the most relevant page in the managed account. In order to run and save searches for MCC alerts, 1. On the Alerts page, click the link Refine Search to reveal available search options. 2. Customize your search by type of alert for payments alerts, campaign alerts, keywords and creative alerts, and budget alerts. By timing of alert, from the Time Triggered menu, and by accounts you want to search, all accounts, only accounts you directly manage, or individual accounts. 3. Click the Search button to run the search without saving the settings. 4. To save these search settings for future use, check the box to save this search and give your search a name. You can save up to 200 searches. Once saved, you can run the same search again by choosing its name from the menu at the top of the search page. Note that alerts will continue to show if they meet the search criteria until they're either resolved or dismissed. However, critical alerts cannot be dismissed and must be resolved in order to remove them from the alerts page. Alerts can be extremely useful in keeping abreast of developments and accounts that may directly affect ad serving and hence traffic and potential revenue for a client. For example, you may choose to keep a close eye on your client's budgets to ensure they aren't depleting their budget during the day and missing out on valuable traffic. In this case, you could do a search for budget alerts since your last login for the accounts you manage. Save this search and then run it each morning to stay aware of any budget-constrained clients. MCC is a robust tool that allows plenty of flexibility in assigning permissions to users, creating new client accounts, and linking new and existing accounts to MCC. However, due to the level of control, there are a few common issues users are likely to encounter. If a user wishes to restrict or change access levels for groups of accounts, using a tiered or sub-level MCC structure will solve this. If your account management structure requires the use of more than one MCC, you just need additional unique login email addresses. An account may only be linked to one MCC at a time. If an account you manage is linked to an MCC you don't own, then it must be unlinked before you can add it to your MCC. And finally, administrative access is required to manipulate any access level within an MCC. In our final section, we will explain how you can use the AdWords Editor tool to easily and efficiently make changes to multiple accounts and big campaigns. We will guide you through a few of the basic functions in AdWords Editor by using a step-by-step -step walkthrough to create an example campaign. You can duplicate our walkthrough live on your own version of AdWords Editor or simply take note of the functions and try to implement what you've learned on your own campaigns. Firstly, let's define what AdWords Editor is. The AdWords Editor is a free application that enables offline viewing and editing of one or more accounts, though please note that edits can only be made to one account at a time. AdWords Editor allows you to Quickly browse through all keywords, ads, ad groups, and campaigns in your account. The AdWords Editor interface also allows you to copy and move items between your ad groups and campaigns. 
While AdWords Editor is available to anyone, one key feature for multiple account managers in particular is the ability to share proposed changes to campaigns with clients or coworkers and get their feedback directly within the tool. In addition, it's possible to copy or move campaigns between different accounts or within an account. We are now ready to walk through the main functions of the AdWords Editor interface. In this example, we will create a campaign for an online store selling chocolates. First, we create a new campaign in the AdWords account named Dark Chocolate and add an ad group called Gift Boxes. This account can be loaded into AdWords Editor by clicking on File and then clicking Open Account. A pop-up window will appear. Choose the account from the list and click on Add Account. The account will then load into AdWords Editor, allowing you to browse through all of the campaigns, ad groups, keywords, and ad texts. Within the AdWords Editor user interface on the left-hand side, you will see the tree view which mirrors the campaign structure of your AdWords account. Details of these campaigns can be seen by clicking on the plus box and expanding the view. When viewing the expanded account, use the tabs to navigate between views of keywords, placements, text ads, etc. When selecting the root folder of an account in Tree View, the tabs highlighted here allow you to browse through each type of content in your campaign. Currently, the Campaigns tab is selected and so campaign names are listed. If you were to select the Ad Group tab, you would see a list of all ad groups in the account. This is the same for all the tabs, keywords, etc. Use the tabs to select what element of the campaign you wish to work on. The different levels in the tree view allow you to define which level within the account that you wish to work on. If you wish to add keywords to an ad group, first select your chosen ad group within the appropriate campaign in the tree view. Click on the plus icon, then the Add Keyword button located below the navigation tabs. Here we added the keyword Dark Chocolate Box to the Gift Boxes ad group within the Dark Chocolate campaign. If you wish to use a keyboard shortcut, press Ctrl-K. If you wish to add a new campaign, ensure that you are at the campaign level in Tree View. In this example, we added a new keyword-targeted campaign called Truffles. In the highlighted area, the daily budget can be set along with any country or language targeting appropriate for your campaign. If you wish to use a keyboard shortcut, press Ctrl-N. To add a new ad group to your campaign, click on the plus icon highlighted and set the desired max CPC. If you wish to use a keyboard shortcut, press Ctrl-G. In this example, we added the group Truffles to the ad group Gourmet and set the max CPC to 0.10. Press Ctrl-K to add a keyword to this ad group. You can generate a list of keywords using the AdWords keyword tool. Press Ctrl-Shift-K to add multiple keywords to this ad group. To add an ad text to this ad group, click on the Add Text Add button at the ad group level. It is possible to add multiple ad texts at once by clicking on the Make Multiple Changes button. For a shortcut to add new ad texts, press Ctrl-T. To add multiple new ad texts, press Ctrl-Shift-T. If you wish to add negative keywords, press Ctrl-M. To add multiple negative keywords, press Ctrl-Shift-M. In order to expand the campaign, in this example we add two new ad groups, Handmade and gift boxes. Their max CPCs are set to be the same as in the Gourmet ad group. The ads are copied from the Dark Chocolate Campaign's Handmade and Gift Boxes ad groups and pasted into the appropriate Truffles ad groups. These ads can be modified so that they instead say Handmade Truffles and Truffle Gift Boxes. Use Find and Replace by pressing Ctrl F. The same operation can be conducted with keywords. You can check your edits for errors by clicking on the Check Changes button or Ctrl-P for a shortcut. Errors appearing in yellow will still post to your AdWords account online. Errors appearing in red will not post to your online AdWords account. Any errors in red should be corrected before posting.
Remember that all activity within AdWords Editor can be conducted offline, so you won't need to experiment with making changes to your live account. Once you are happy with all the edits you have made, click on Post Changes to set the account edits live. Check your edits for errors by clicking on the Check Changes button or Control P for a shortcut. Errors appearing in yellow will still post to your AdWords account online. Errors appearing in red will not post to your online AdWords account. Correct any red errors before posting. Here is a list of the keyboard shortcuts in AdWords Editor. Memorizing these will make your work in AdWords Editor faster and more efficient. In addition to shortcuts for the editing functions, AdWords Editor also integrates shortcuts for opening, closing, and posting changes to campaigns.